Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JD Kicks, back again, you know, from Sir Kicks. I know it's been a little minute since, you know, I made my last video. I think the last video you probably saw me on was on the vlog when we were on our way to Sneaker 1 CLT for this raffle that, uh, for the Adidas Yeezys. Um, me and my brother, Elijah, Eli from Sir Kicks, uh, we try to go, uh, follow the steps. It was like a one of the step requirements to get into the raffle for the Yeezy boots. Unfortunately, we didn't win it. Uh, some some kid won it. Uh, I can't even say think about his name right now. Uh, but congratulations to you, dude. Like them them joints are pretty dope and pr pretty clean, man. Shout out to Sneaker One CLT for the raffles. They have so much more to go. And if you want to follow them on Instagram, uh, turn on notifications. The link's gonna be in the bottom. Uh, the video after this but while i was at sneaker one clt your boy had to cop some fire man el fuego yeah that's right uh you probably know what it is by the time you see the thumbnail of this video but without further ado let's just hop into these babies Woo! see these this is for the og sneakers like not og og but like it's for people you know that pay attention to them heats in the in around the, the year 2000 from the from the zeros all the way to the tens. And if you probably guessed it, yeah, you're right. It's the 2007 Stealth 8, yo. Like, these joints are so beautiful. When I first went to, when I went to Sneaker CLT's new location, uh, they had these joints here dead stock for 150. And I was like, bro, what? 150 brand new, not worn, clean as it can be. Like, these shoes were a mud hot, man. I had to get these. Um, for me to be a Jordan fan, uh, to love Nike, period. These shoes were a must cop, and like it's crazy because, like, I always say, like, oh, I'm gonna try to get some ultra boots, oh, I'm gonna try to get some running shoes. Bam, they, like the sneaker boutique or wherever I go, they always gotta have some major heat like this that is hard to come by and I have to cop. So, I you could say my inner hype beats came out. I don't care though, I had to cop these, man. And I recommend, like, if you find some sneaker, like, some hidden gems, like, sneakers like these at a sneaker boutique, like, Sneaker 1, CLT, Soul Station, we stock Charlotte, I recommend you get them. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. Um, you just see right here, the patent letter right here, uh, for this is a white base right here. You know it's right here. You see the little details in, the, in this leather for the strap compared to the patent letter here for the rest of the shoe. And right here you see the gray outlining throughout the shoe and if you notice if you look right here the whole gray right here you notice that it's 3m baby so like if you shine a little light in it it's gonna get really bright real quick so that's the dope part about these shoes and of course you got your little orange going on right here switching up the game a little bit orange in this sock lining inside too as well as the pull tab like these shoes are stupid dope man like i am freaking hyped for these these are them course top gem in my collection it's something i'm probably never gonna let go honestly unless it falls apart um later throughout the years um let me show you i already got some paint cracking right there because of wearing it a little bit but hey it's gonna happen because they're 2007 uh stealth set, uh, stealth eights so of course you're gonna see some cracking because they haven't been worn and they've been ds until i un -DS them and let's see the bottom of course you see how clean them joints are well not really clean no more because i've been wearing them joints a little bit but they're pretty clean for me on, you know, on DS and all. And right, real quick, I wanna show you like a quick uh, comparison from these old sevens to the Aqua 8 remasters. So of course you notice, uh, they try to get as close as possible to the OG OG from the Aqua 8s. And if you notice with the, when they retro the 8s during the year 2000, uh, the 2000s, uh, pull tab is a little bit higher on here as here, they made the sock line higher make it true to the OG if you notice that um, you look at the buckles you can tell on this side for the stuff eight buckles is a little bit bent while right here is a it's like a clean arrow no bent or you know uh, point is not pointing downward or nothing just true to the OG and let's see let's see what else even I noticed too like texture wise um, you probably won't notice but like midsole you look right here and if you look right here um even touching them wise you can tell the difference in paint coating um this one has a little bit more grit to the paint coating it's more like a like a rough floor pattern like this is like just a clean clean paint on right here and if you were to tell me which one i would pick between the remasters and the 
retros. I gotta tie them in because honestly, you can never go wrong on a good deck wearing like a retro or you can never go wrong. Because, you know, if you feel like you know wearing an OG and especially if it's remastered. So honestly, I would tie both. You know, these were both a must get, but right now we're gonna focus on the stuff. So, man, I recommend you go to your sneaker boutique, you see any OG, OG like hair sevens. Um, well, not even OGs, like hidden gems like these. You see hair sevens, these, some, uh, in the, you know, 2000 edition Bordos. Any shoes like that, man, I recommend that you cop, man, because you probably won't see these babies again in good condition like this. So now that we now I finished talking about these shoes and talk about these suckers, let's get into the shoe review on feet. And remember again, we are Sir Kicks. Peace. Peace.